Welcome to Roman on CVI. I'm Christine Roman. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the CVI characteristic distance viewing. This characteristic is one that is closely aligned to the characteristic of complexity of array. In other words, the further away an object exists, the more likely it is to simply fall into the background sort of visual kaleidoscope or background um, sort of white noise of, of the viewing area. So let me just do a little demo. For example, I could show you this little block. Okay, you probably see a bird's head. If I move it against a black background, and if in fact there was no background behind me, um, a student with CVI would have a fairly you know, easy time finding at least the presence of this target. Let's compare it to me moving it now somewhere else. I'm going to move my laptop and hopefully I can do this successfully. Do you see at an, um, that's not even three feet away from where I'm seat, seated. And now that same block is much, much more difficult to locate, primarily because of the number of items that surround it. So distance viewing is really um, a, a very um, challenging characteristic and one that impacts a child every day. I think it's also important to talk about what distance viewing is and what it is not. So distance viewing is not the greatest distance at which the child with CVI can occasionally notice something. Sometimes parents or teachers or others will report, well, you know, I think his distance viewing is now 20 feet because he saw me down the hall as I moved across the hall. I saw him watch me. Or they'll say, you know, she notices the TV sometimes and that's at least 10 feet away. Or um, she sees the McDonald's sign that's up in the sky, oh, you know, yards and yards away from inside the backseat of the car. And I think that is all important information. That information tells us that the child has a capacity under certain circumstances to notice certain targets at prescribed distances. It is not the, it should not be used to derive a score or to, or to generalize that that is in fact the child's distance viewing ability. Distance viewing actually is the greatest distance at which the child with CVI can always find something. So if this individual with CVI is able to sometimes notice their parent or the family pet moving across the room 10 feet away, great. My question is, at what distance can they find their iPad when it's turned off, it's in a new place, and it's maybe against, you know, a bookshelf? That often turns out to be a much shorter distance. And I think that's important that we, we really design that observation and our direct assessment, ask the right interview questions to try to get at that all the time distance not the occasional one. Um, I always put that other information in my reports because it is important and it often shows progress. But we don't want to mislead educators or parents that the child with CVI is actually able to monitor their environment and learn from it at these really great distances. Um, so that's I think that's an important distinction. I also want to mention that distance viewing in the, the procedures and the protocol used for the CVI range is not the same thing as the distance viewing acuity that may be derived by the ophthalmologist or optometrist. That is a refraction. There is a process that is used to, to in many cases, auto-refract a child to figure out what is there if they are nearsighted or farsighted. And so un we need to understand that a child who may receive glasses, um, who may be able to see things close but not far away or the reverse, really need those glasses. And it's important that we do our best to help the child, you know, use them if they, if they are, um, in fact, tolerated and useful to the student. Uh, but it is, we can't be, we can't use the information derived from the eye doctor and plug it into the CVI range or plug it into our conversation about a child's functional vision because they're really not always the same thing. Uh, on the next video, I will talk a little bit more about 
um, what a child with CVI um, misses when they have difficulties with distance viewing and what we can do to help make that better. Thank you.